Dr. Bill Adams, and this is the Two Minute Drill. Here we go. Starting with Dan Del Vecchio. This picture was sent to us by one of our viewers, patient with a butt implant. Looks horrible. Implants too uh, superficial, you can see it. This is why people shouldn't have buttock augmentation with implants unless it's absolutely the last resort. Risk for Stephen? Buttock implants, just say no. Steve? Agreed. Um, the uh, pictures of this uh, buttock implant turned upside down are really hard to watch. Rick? NTA, nothing to add. Okay, next question. Buttock augmentation. We put a bunch of fat in, but what are they going to look like in 10 years? Are they going to look like a Sharpay dog? Rick? When we do cosmetic surgery, we have to caution people to not gain weight afterwards. So if you gain weight after you've had something done, you know what's going to happen, right? It, it, it's like the reverse of Tweety Bird's head. Steve? I think that it's still early. We, we don't know what these patients are going to look like 10, 15, 20 years down the road yet. Um, I do think that there's some differences in the consistency of the tissue in the buttock uh, that will make it respond differently long term. We don't have answers to all of that yet. Uh, however, uh, to date, it's been a procedure that's got great reproducibility um, and people that are experienced are getting good results for their patients. Rich? We just don't know. Dan? I've been doing fat grafting to the breast now 11 years and I don't see sagging breasts from fat. Um, and I don't think we'll see in 10 years sagging buttocks. Last topic, construction levelers for plastic surgery marking and procedures. I have one in the, in the back of my Jeep. Every breast case I do, I take it in the hospital and then take it out. I think they're great. Rich. When I look at a woman's breast to decide whether or not they're attractive, I don't pull out a laser level. I think your eye is good enough. Steve. I think some degree of marking is important, whether you use a, a leveler or something more simple works for me. And Rick? I use a Vectra pre-op to, to really um, statistically and, and very precisely decide whether or not there is asymmetry. Okay, thanks guys. And that's your two-minute drill.